Saints, before we go on in the book of Revelation with this higher vision, this higher look at the book of Revelation and the Son of the Living God, we're going into chapter 8. And the first thing you see that so few see is the outpouring of the latter day rain, and we're going to see that. But before we go there, I wanted to say something that the Lord has been showing me or speaking to me about, because three times in recent months, he clearly spoke to me and said, John, some thing is going to happen. Not something's going to happen, some thing is going to happen. And I thought, oh yeah, well, we were coming upon the tribulation or the pre-tribulation rapture all happen. And I was excited about it and I was ready and I was waiting for those things. And then I read these verses a couple of days ago and it changed. I think what he's showing me here is something I didn't expect. In 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, starting in verse 1, but of the times and seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write unto you. Paul's talking about the times and the season of the end times. But of the times and seasons, brethren, you have no need that I write to you. For you know well that the day of the Lord shall come as a thief in the night. And that's another thing in this short message I want to share and everybody to see. Everybody's divided. They believe there's a pre-tribulation rapture, a mid-tribulation rapture, and a rapture others believe it's at the end of the tribulation. Well, I'm here to tell you, which you might not hear from anybody else, that they're all right. There's a pre-tribulation rapture of those that are ready, waiting, watching, as it said here, for ye know well that the day of the Lord shall come as a thief in the night. Pre-tribulation rapture of those ready, watching, waiting. Their lamps are lit. And he'll come as a thief in the night and take them. Then there's a mid-tribulation rapture. And there has to be a rapture, a catching up at the end of the tribulation, especially of the Jews that turn to the Messiah, the true Messiah, and reject the Antichrist. And the Antichrist is going to be killing them by the tens of thousands. But those that are alive and remain to the coming of the Lord, they have to be changed at the end of the tribulation. So I just want you to know, first and foremost, saints, there is a pre-tribulation rapture. There is, and as we go on in the book of Revelation, you'll see a mid-tribulation rapture. And there has to be a catching up of the saints at the end of the tribulation. There has to be. But now, getting back to what the Lord had showed me, that something is going to happen. And we're all... You're all being told, these prophecy teachers, those on the broad road to destruction have been telling you and saying, oh, this chaos, oh, these wars, this is all this chaos and wars and droughts and stuff is proven the end's just about to happen. But that's not what it says here, saints. For ye know well that the day of the Lord shall come as a thief in the night, the pre-tribulation rapture. For when they say peace and safety then sudden destruction shall come upon them. When they say peace and safety, right now everybody's saying, oh, COVID, oh, China, Taiwan, the droughts, the crazy weather, Russia, Ukraine, missiles, could be a nuclear war. Nobody's saying peace and safety right now. Nobody's saying that. But at the same time, all these end time prophecy teachers, those on the broad road to destruction I've been warning you about, they're trying to tell you all that's proofs the end's coming. What did it say here? For when they say peace and safety, then sudden destruction shall come upon them. Then the tribulation will start. And as the Lord spoke to me three times, John, some thing is coming. I'm putting this together here, and I believe what he's saying. Something even bigger than what we've been seeing is going to come. And it's going to get everybody's attention and have everybody on edge and everybody in anxiety and everybody worried. And then it's going to suddenly change, and then they're going to say, for when they say peace and safety, then they're going to say, oh, this passed. We're okay. 
peace and safety, everything's well. Just the opposite of what you're being told. Just the opposite of where the world is right now. It's in chaos. The weather's in chaos. The countries are in chaos. There's diseases running rampant. Cities are being burned. Politicians have lost their minds. It's not, nobody's saying peace and safety. So, as he said to me, John, something is going to happen that's going to bring the earth, the peoples of the earth, to even a more desperate place, a more anxious place, a more troubled place. But then it's going to pass, and then the world's going to be happy, the people are going to be happy and say, peace and safety. Then sudden destruction will come upon them after that. And concerning this, where I want to go on, for ye know well that the day of the Lord shall come as a thief in the night. We read in Luke also, Luke 21, 34 through 36, after reading that, and take heed to yourselves, lest at any time your hearts be overcharged with excess and drunkenness and the cares of this life. He's saying, take heed to yourself. Don't let your hearts be overcome with excess, excess of this world, excess of this life, wanting one thing after another, just desiring the things of the flesh, the things of the world, the things of Egypt, the things of Babylon, and drunkenness and the cares of this life. Don't let yourselves be overcome with the cares of this life. And so that that day, what day? The day he comes as a thief in the night, come upon you and you're unaware. Verse 35, For as a snare it shall come upon all those that dwell upon the face of the earth. As a trap, as a snare, it's going to come upon all those who dwell upon the face of the earth. When? We just read it. When they're saying peace and safety. Not when everything's pushed to the brink. That's what I believe where the Lord said to me, something is going to come. It's obviously going to pass. And they're going to say peace and safety. For as a snare it shall come upon all those that dwell upon the face of the earth. As a trap when they're saying peace and safety. Watch ye therefore and pray always. If you believe these teachers that are just not right, I don't know if they're deceiving you, they just want to keep you for numbers or what, but they tell you that every Christian that ever said yes to Jesus is going to get raptured before the tribulation. You've got to see my last message on the book of Revelations where it clearly says that hundreds of millions of people are saved in the tribulation. They come out of the tribulation. A lot of people try to tell you, oh, Jews, as Jews, during the tribulation, will preach the gospel to every nation, tongue, language, and people. And these same people that tell you that tell you the tribulation is going to be so horrible, just one disastrous hell on thing on earth thing after another. But they try to tell you that Jews as Jews, during this tribulation that's going to be to the tenth degree, as they tell you, Jews are going to travel the earth and preach the gospel to people in every language, tongue, nation, on island, on the earth. To Papua New Guinea, to the Far East, to the Middle East, to the Aborigines in Australia. It doesn't even make sense. No, those ready, watching, waiting will be caught up in the pre-tribulation rapture. Those that love the world and the things of the world will go into the tribulation. God's not going to neglect them. He's going to pour His Spirit out upon them in the latter-day reign. And all around the world, those peoples and all those nations, tongues, languages, islands, peoples around the earth will be preaching the gospel, to warning them that the tribulation started and they have to repent and prepare the way of the Lord. But what he's saying now, Watch ye therefore and pray always that ye may be accounted worthy to escape. If you're all just going to get raptured before the tribulation, why do you have to pray always that you can be worthy to escape 
all these things that shall come to pass. If it's telling you right there, you got to be praying. You got to be ready. He said that you may be accounted worthy. If you're in the flesh, if you're loving the world and the things of the world, you're not going to be ready. But you will go into the tribulation. The latter day rain will be poured upon, upon you. And you'll preach the gospel in your own language to your own peoples all around the earth. That will happen. So he's coming as that thief in the night. And we're to be ready. We're to be watching. And what does it say in Luke 12, 39 and 40? And know this. Carrying on this theme. And know this that if the husband of the house had known at what hour the thief would come, he would, he would have watched and not had suffered his house to be broken into. Be ye therefore ready also, for the Son of Man comes at an hour when you think not. If you're just automatically all going no matter what, what do you have to be ready for? Be ye therefore ready, for the Son of Man comes at an hour when you don't think he will. Now that's the thief in the night. That's what I'm telling you, saints. That's when he comes, when they're calling out peace and safety. Sudden destruction's going to come. He's going to come as a thief in the night and get those ready, watching, waiting. He's going to get those that are prepared for him and his coming. Their lamps are lit. But then... What do we know about his coming other than that thief in the night? Let's see this, saints. 1 Corinthians 15. Behold, Paul says, Behold, I tell you a mystery. We shall not all sleep. We won't all die, is what he's saying. But we will all be changed. We're not all going to die, Paul's saying. But we're all going to be changed. In a moment... In the twinkling of an eye, in the moment, in the twinkling of an eye, we're all going to be changed. We're not. Some people aren't going to die. They're going to be alive. When? In the moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet. Where do you have trumpets in the New Testament? In the book of Revelation. There's seven of them. And there's the last trumpet. What does he say there? In the moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trumpet. And as we go on through this higher revelation of the book of Revelation, we're going to come to the trumpets and the last trumpet. We'll pick that up there. But for now, you got the Lord coming as a thief in the night for those ready, watching, waiting. He was telling you to be ready to watch. And then he says here, we will all be changed. We won't all die. We'll all be changed. When? At the last trumpet. For the trumpet will sound and the dead, those that fell asleep, those that died, and the dead will be raised incorruptible. And we, we who are alive, will be changed. But this is at a trumpet. Now I want you to see this so plain, saints, because he says, we'll all be changed at the last trumpet. And in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, let's read 16 and 17. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4, 16 and 17. For the Lord himself shall come down from heaven with a commanding shout. Does that sound like a thief in the night? This is what I want you to see. There's a thief in the night. You're to be ready for it. You'll be watching. You're, pray you're going to be praying. You're to be found accountable that you can escape those things. But now we see this where he's coming with a trumpet. The dead in Christ will rise first at this sound of a trumpet. And here in 1 Thessalonians 4, 16, For the Lord himself shall come down from heaven with a commanding shout, not a thief in the night, a commanding shout, and the voice of the archangel. So he's going to come down with a commanding shout and with the voice of the archangel and with the blast of God's trumpet, the same one, the last trumpet, will all be changed. 
This ain't a thief in the night, saints. He himself is coming down with a commanding shout, with the voice of an archangel. Does that sound like a thief in the night? A thief in the night run around shouting, Hey, I'm a thief. It's night. I'm coming. And he's got his friend with him yelling and screaming, Hey, the thief is here. And they're blowing a trumpet. That's not a thief in the night. These have nothing to do with one another. Once the pre-tribulation rapture. This is different. See it, saints. For the Lord himself shall come down from heaven with a commanding shout, with the voice of the archangel, and the blast of God's trumpet. And the, here again what we just read. And the dead in Messiah shall rise first. It's what we just read. Listen, saints. Then we who are alive, the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we who are alive, who were left behind. Left behind from what? The pre-tribulation rapture. He's saying, he's, then he's coming first as a thief in the night. Then he's coming down with a commanding shout, with an archangel yelling, and with a blast of the trumpet of God, the last trumpet, he said. Then we who are alive, and if you're alive then, who were left behind, left behind from what? The pre-tribulation rapture, and you weren't killed in the tribulation, will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the, air, the Lord in the air. Saints, those can't be the same thing. One's a thief sneaking around at night. You didn't know he come. The other is a shout and a trumpet and an archangel. And let's see this here too, saints. In Matthew 24. Let's look and start with verse 26. See, I have told you. See, he's saying there again. See, I told you beforehand. This is the Lord speaking. See, I already told you. I told you beforehand. So if they say to you, look, he is in the wilderness. Do not go out there. Or look, he is in the inner room. Don't believe it. For just, listen, saints, the thief in the night versus the trumpet, the yelling, the screaming, the blowing, for just as the lightning flashes from the east, comes from the east and flashes as far as the west, so also will be the coming of the Son of the Man. Not a thief in the night. It's like lightning flashing from the east to the west. And look at verse 30. Then the sign of the Son of Man will appear in heaven, and then all the tribes of the earth will mourn. The sign of the Son of Man will appear. It'll be lightning of flashing from the east is to the west. And all the tribes of the earth will mourn. And they will see. Who? All the tribes of the earth will see. The Son of Man coming on the clouds of heaven with great power and glory. And listen, for those that are alive and remain. Those that didn't go in the pre-tribulation rapture, they weren't ready. They, were, they loved the world and the things of the world. They remained. They didn't die in the tribulation. Those that are alive and remain. And he will send out his angels with a great trumpet. Here we go again. With a great trumpet, the same trumpet. And they will gather together his chosen from the four winds, from one end of the heaven to the other. At the end of the tribulation, especially for those Jews that turn to Christ, reject the Antichrist, the Antichrist is going to be a slaying them. But for those that are alive and remain at his coming, these angels at this trumpet will go out and gather them up. Saints, all three are right. There's a pre-tribulation rapture for those ready, watching, waiting. The church, the Gentile church will, that goes into the tribulation will be preaching and hundreds of millions will be saved. And they will be caught up at the middle of the tribulation. Those Jews that turn to the Messiah and reject the Antichrist, the ones that aren't the slain, the ones that are alive and remain at His coming like the lightning from the east to the west, then all the tribes see Him, they must be gathered up. So saints, and I also just wanted to say that again. The Lord spoke to me three times. Some 
thing is going to happen. And I bring, believe that's going to be bringing even more anxiety. Some thing, particular thing. And it will have people on edge and it will have people worried. But it will pass and then they'll say, peace and safety. But then sudden destruction will come upon them. Then the tri tribulation will start. Not because of what you see is a sign of it. He said when they say peace and safety then sudden destruction will come upon them. So we'll go on with chapter 8 of the book of Revelation on the next message, but I wanted to share these things first.